I have amplified my power for centuries, and now it is time to give it back to you. Hey, what's poppin' everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Amplify. AWS Amplify, that is. Not the electrical amplification process here, no. So what is AWS Amplify? So, well, it kind of integrates and speeds up development for a bunch of different apps and libraries and frameworks and whatever. So it'll st do stuff like iOS, like Android, Angular, Ionic, JavaScript, React, React Native, Vue. So it'll kind of help and speed up the process of developing for those kind of apps. So it has three parts to it. So it has the Ampl Amplify framework itself, which is kind of like the, has the Amplify libraries, which helps configure the backend through declarative interfaces. And also has the Amplify console and CLI, which most AWS services have. And it also has individual UI components. So think of like these components like a React component or Angular and Vue components. So these are pre-baked. So you, this, they can be used to like add authentication directly into the app using Cognito. Knowing about Amplify is really important because instead of kind of doing everything by yourself, why not just use a library or framework that AWS has already made for you and it already speeds up everything. So why not just use something that's already built? Why reinvent the wheel? And it will definitely help in building out an app. So before I go on into the nitty gritty details about Amplify, make sure to triple click that like button for the YouTube algorithm as it'll help me a lot. All right, so here I am in the AWS um, page for Amplify, and I'll link this in the description, but this is basically um, the description of what Amplify does. It can set up tools and services, that's all really it is, a set of tools and services that will help you develop apps. It's, so it will call like, other services, so you can think of like Cognito for, for authentication, and if we look at some of the features, authentication, maybe you want to have a data store in like S3 or DynamoDB, like API gateways for GraphQL and REST, or storage for like S3, and there's a bunch of different stuff that you can do with Amplify. And it really is a great product for making and deploying stuff with ease. And that's really all this is about, making sure the easiest as possible for your development. That's what AWS wants to do with Amplify. Now, I know what you might be thinking, wow, that does so much stuff. It probably does only very basic stuff. And no, it does a lot of cool stuff other than just, you know, like the normal onboarding, like login, log off kind of stuff, authorization, analytics. It does more than that basic stuff. It does really cool stuff like machine learning, AI. So like translations, voice interpretations. That's not like some simple stuff. It Like deep down, it's very complicated to get all those working. And it, um, it's, Amplify does it all for you. It also can do collaborations like with chat, real-time feeds, document sharing, targeted campaigns, kind of like with push notifications and engaging your customers. And that's really all they want to help you do. Make sure your customer gets what they want. I mean, that's what if one of Amazon's leadership principles. Make sure the customer or the customer is always first and what, stuff like that. So here is where AWS will line up their two really big goals with AWS Amplify. So they want to develop, help you develop the app. And of course, they want you to help host the app. And of course, they want to host the app using their own infrastructure, not other cloud providers, of course. So they'll help you develop the app using with like the Amplify CLI. They'll help you connect your app to um, cloud backend. So like the services like DynamoDB and Cognito and stuff like that. So they'll use the Amplify libraries to help do that. And then, of course, they want you to help integrate it, your backend, of course, into your UI components. So with the Amplify UI components part. And then of course they want to help you host it. So with um, the Amplify console, they're gonna help you statically host your website, which is kind of one way to get your website out there to the public. So how it's hosted, so they want to help you get it connected to like a Git repository so that once you like someone commits, you can push changes automatically so they build automatically so you don't have to do anything it just builds automatically this is where ci cd comes in so you can deploy your app and get it pushed out to a cdn a content delivery network so let's see what people are saying about it uh wait wait go back i'm a huge fan of amplify hosting it's aws's best kept secret i didn't know it was a secret this so this was released uh 2018 so i guess it's not really a secret it's just more like not many people know about it at least not yet, since it's relatively new. I mean, two years is kind of old, but then again, 
Cloud has been out here since like 2016. That's when AWS, or 2006, sorry, I think. That's when AWS was around, founded. Don't quote me on that. It's around that time. <laughs> so they do provide these two paths for what to take to get started with AWS Amplify. So I do plan to make a AWS Amplify tutorial, maybe sometime this week. But for now, uh, you can go down these two paths and you can pick whatever framework or library you want to get started with it. So there's only these eight right now, but you can do whatever you want. You follow your heart. <laughs> So whenever I look at a service, I always want to look at the FAQ because people are going to ask frequently asked questions. So of course, what does FAQ uh, amplify? I, I think I've covered a lot of this, but it can be used for leveraging a core set of AWS cloud services. So like, what is a core set? They don't really uh, answer that here, but I guess they want to provide offline data authentication. That's with Cognito, analytics, push notifications, and bots. So that's what they really want to provide. That's their core focus with Cognito. And you might be thinking, huh, this is really expensive. This is going to be really expensive if it, does, if, the, if it does all these things. Well, it's not. All right, so here I am on the pricing page. And you might be thinking, oh, it's, it's got to be expensive. No, you only pay for the underlying services that you use. So if you don't use any services, I guess it's not going to cost anything. But that's, that's not going to be very useful. So like, for example, there's no additional charges for using Amplify Framework with like, it, it'll just make the, the services for you. Kind of like similar to like how CloudFormation kind of like makes the services for you. It, it kind of like speeds up the, the process. It doesn't like charge you for doing that though. So let's look at what they want to charge you here though. So it has two features, of course, the build and deploy part and the hosting part. Like I said, the, the framework itself doesn't cost anything. That's that's, uh, we'll throw in a toaster. That's like one of those, we'll throw in the framework kind of thing. <laughs> you know, like when someone's trying to sell you a car, we'll throw in this toaster if you buy this car. Like, yeah, the, the toaster is not much compared to the car, but we'll see. I, I feel like this framework though is, um, is very robust and very useful. So build and deploy and the hosting part, right? So build and deploy cost is one cent per minute. So that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cheap, honestly. And of course, there's a free tier. So 1,000 build mon minutes per month. That's that's pretty good. I think Code Build has like 100 build minutes per month. So that's pretty decent, having 10 times that. But um, also, there's the hosting part, which I guess you can do with S3 normally. So this has 5 gigabytes stored per month, and then 15 gigabytes stored per month, served per month out to consumers. But the static part is the, the 1 cent per month I was talking about. You can have like by a, a five cent like Cheeto ball <laughs> for, for, for five cents per month. Or you can get the 20, not even a cent per gigabyte stored per month and then one or 15 cents, or sorry, that, that's two cents. I don't know what I'm talking about. Two cents, 2.3 cents per gigabyte stored per month and then 15 cents per gigabyte served. So let's look at some of their examples on what you might see with this if you're using Cognito, or not Cognito, this is Amplify. So start up with five developers to have an app that has 300 daily active users, which seems like pretty reasonable. It's like probably not that hard to attain 300 daily active users. I mean, it's attainable for a normal person, not some Jeff Bezos. So, and then your team commits two codes per day. So also pretty reasonable, maybe like half the team is doing work, another reasonable part, you know, the other half of the team just does nothing, just sits around, <laughs> makes sense to me. So assumptions, average build time is three minutes, number of work days per month is 20. So 20 days a month. Uh, so yeah, five times four, that makes sense. Four weeks in a month, okay. Total build time, number of webs, <laughs> they're really doing the math here, times number of commits per day, times number of days, average build time is 600 build minutes per month, so that would be in the free tier for like a year, or the one cent per build minute. So that would be $6, so $6 per month. So per year, that's like around $100 or so, just for the building and deploying charges here. So I mean, yeah, that makes sense. And then the hosting part, so like there's always the ho two parts, build and deploy and then the hosting. So web app size, 25 megabytes. That seems pretty big for a web app, but <laughs> we'll see. The average size of page requested, so 1.5 megabytes. So, okay, that's average size. So, okay, that, that makes sense. They're not going to request the whole thing. 
So monthly gigabytes served is daily active users times average page size times days. So days is what, 300, daily, oh, 300 daily active users. Then, okay, that makes sense, days is 30. So 13 gigabytes per month, and then serve, so that's well, also within the, the free tier. So I guess that's how they got their numbers from. So as long as you're a team of less than five developers, and about 300 daily active users. You should be good. <laughs> Use the free tier. And then stored only five gigabytes around. So $2 per month, that's even cheaper than the build and deploy. It shows you how much costly -er it is to do build and deploy. So $8 per month, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And I guess it's probably something similar with 10,000 daily active users. Wait, it's only updated two times per month. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Have 10,000 daily active users and being only updated two times a month. But I guess um, people don't care that it's not being updated. So I guess the final cost here is only 65.98. So six cents though for that two times a month. That's pretty, pretty good to have. So there you go. That is the cheapness of AWS Amplify and how easy it really it is and cheap it is to start an app and develop an app in this day and age. Like, you did this 20 years ago, you'd have to like build a server and stuff like that. Now you don't even have to build a server, you don't even have to like have one hosted in the cloud, you just have it all done and abstracted away for you, and that's great. And anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.